LSU, number 16, Virginia Tech. Michael Vick honored before the game, given a plaque with his jersey, but not retired. Vick also then played Newt Rockney on him. Hey, I just want to say, very excited to be back. I will always be a Hokie in my heart. And for one thing's for sure, beat LSU. Okay, Rockman did a little, a little more flair than that. First quarter, no score. Vitek punts to Dominic Davis. Davis takes the punt, 81 yards outside. He's not running that fast. We sped it up because our time is short. But a flag down in the play. The ref's talking over. Was it a penalty? I thought I saw one. Let's ask Sports Center, since we're responsible for everything else evil in sports. Illegal block on Ryan O'Neill. Touchdown call back. Michael Vick telling somebody, you've got to see the kid who wears my number. His name is Kevin Jones, and he's the truth. Two yards to the house. Kevin Jones. Hokies led 7-zip, and then Hokies picked off Matt Monk. Shiro Carey dropped it, kicked it. Vegas Robinson picked it. Take another look on the drop, kick, and pick. And also know that Virginia Tech blocked a punt for the 48th time in 176 games that Frank Beamer's been head coach. Fourth quarter, this is why Jones was the top high schooler in the nation in 2000. Remind you of anybody? Yeah, exactly. Looking like Vic, playing like Vic. 34-yard run. Jones, 14 carries, 70 yards. Next play, Techies on the back. Lee Suggs, haul at a player. Second touchdown of the game, 23 carries, 89 yards. Hokies win it 26 to 8. 18th ranked Louisville hosting Kentucky Sunday night on ESPN2. First quarter, no score. Kentucky's ball in the 36th. Jared Lorenzen, who's an M&M away from 300 pounds, to Ernest Sims. Ernest Sims is gone. Kentucky leads 7-0. Kentucky up 10-0. Second quarter, the much-hyped Dave Ragone. Had plenty of company in the backfield all night long. Now, he would lose the football. Kentucky would recover. Louisville mustered just 248 total yards. This one against one of the worst defenses in college football last year. Artos Pinner. Kentucky missed the PAT but led 16-0. Second half kickoff, Broderick Park. Red shirt freshman out of Alabama. Oh, Alabama. He is gone. A school tying 100-yard kickoff return. It's now 16-7. Later in the fourth, three minutes left. Louisville trailing 22-17. Ragon, who was sacked three times, has this one tipped and picked by Mike Williams. Louisville gets one last chance, trailing 22 to 17 with two seconds left. And Ragone, who looked like he had been in a fight with Lennox Lewis all night long, knocked down over 20 times in this game. Damian Dorsey cuts across the field. He went lateral. It was not meant to be. The Cats snapping a three-game losing streak to their in-state rivals. This is Keith Jackson, by the way. Play-by-play -play man for both games. First drive of the game, Daniel Cobb. He's your Auburn quarterback. He's on the keeper. Pulls her down. He's going to run, and he's going to cough it up. Mike Pollard, USC, recovers. We're going the other way. Home team Trojans to capitalize. Carson Palmer, Kareem Kelly, touchdown. USC up 7-0. Much joy at the Coliseum. Later in the first, still 7-0 Palmer. Going to get clocked on the blitz. Carlos Dansby with a white shirt, intercepted. We're going the other way. Auburn's turn to cap. Cute Carnell Cadillac Williams. 23-yard touchdown run. Now, Cadillac had 97 yards rushing in the first half, working hard here, but just minus three after intermission. He did get a shoe back, finished with 94. Palmer, his team up 14-7, going up top, but Junior Rosegreen is there to pick that one off. Palmer, 23 of 32, two picks in the one touchdown pass, 20 seconds left. Cobb looking to get in, fumbles it. Oh, no, teammate's going to clean him up, though. Look at this again. As Cobb comes around the right side, hat on the ball, out it goes, but Ronnie Brown is right there, and he's going to fight. Good timing, good effort, and he is in. At intermission, it's 14-14. Fourth quarter, Trojans driving. Third and 11, it's a tie game. Palmer, Green Kelly again, and, well, check your chin strap. As Kelly gets plowed, and there goes the helmet. His head, though, as you can see, did stay attached, which was good for him. Palmer, 302 through the air. That 12 inches on the ground, the difference. The Trojans win it 24 
TCU and Cincinnati Bearcats QB, Gino Gadouli. Threw for 287 yards, finding Ladera's van, van. He's all alone. He's going to the house, a 35-yard touchdown. Cincinnati down two. That was important because then they went for two. Gadouli doesn't like what he sees. He calls a timeout. Since he with one timeout left. So, Cincinnati goes for two again. Gadouli dropping back into the end zone. Incomplete. Flags on the field. What do we have? We have defensive holding on TCU. Now, TCU takes a timeout, and they have one timeout left. Now, again, here's the two-point attempt. But wait a minute. What do I see? I see more flags. They're out again. Illegal substitution on TCU. They had 12 men on the field. Hey, guess what we're trying again? The two-pointer. Uh, nope, Cincinnati calls a timeout. They have no timeouts left. Good for them. Now, let's try the two-point conversion again. Alone on the far side, the TCU defensive back, he realizes three wide receivers are lined up for Cincinnati, and he's the only one covering them. Uh-oh, calls another timeout. TCU's last. Okay, now let's try for the two. Cincy now on the one. The dually sneaks it in. Remember, this guy pulled off three fourth-quarter comebacks as a freshman last year. We're tied. We're going overtime. In overtime, the dually calls his own number, and why not? Goes in untouched into the end zone. Touchdown, and with the extra point, it's a 36-29 Bearcat lead. Now it's TCU's turn with the ball. 6'5", senior, Sean Stilley. He was picked off twice. This was one of the picks by Doug Monahan. Cincinnati can celebrate the 36-29 overtime win.